Is that what we do? That's what I've read in an article. Well, maybe you shouldn't assume, because assuming makes it out of you, which it definitely did. Because we were nice, and we just walk around, enjoy the spaces, and have good conversations like we did upstairs. Because we didn't assume that just because I've met city employees that put their hands on me and act badly, I don't assume that all are. But again, that's me being bigger than the government. Close your mouth, get back to work, beat it. Oh. You're trash. I'm, you make your city look bad. Go. I missed something. What was it that you said? Can you repeat it? We go around trying to make people react badly. Beat it. Go. See you never. Go around. <laughs> Guys, meet Sarah. Sarah's an absolute disgrace to her job. Sarah thinks that we're just all the same. Every person's the same. The only people that can be separate are the government because they're so amazing. Sarah did an awful job. She's literally a waste of space. Let's see if Sarah apologizes. What's going on, guys? We're at the Ashburnham Town Hall in Ashburnham, Mass. Let me go check her out. Let her know I sent you. I'm gonna take a little look around, like William Wallace said, for freedom. Let's take a peek. How you doing? Can I help you? No, I'm just taking a peek around. Thank you. Um, are you looking for anything? Or? No, I'm just admiring the fireplace right now. Thank you. Not a bad office. Not too shabby. We wished it worked though in the winter. That's what I was going to ask. Does it work in the winter? Oh. Uh, no. I don't. I don't think we would trust lighting a little fire. <laughs> just call the chimney sweep. Haven't you seen Mary Poppins? <laughs> Look at this stuff. I know, I saw that. Isn't that cool? Oh, do, you, do your thing, good. We're just we're just no check problem. checking that everything out and Excellent. saying hi. Excellent, how you doing? Good. Have a good Hello. have a good Zoom meeting. Oh, you're three minutes away. Have a good yeah, Zoom yeah, meeting. We'll all. close the door no, for I'm you. Close that other one oh, you got? Oh, oh. Well, we'll we can close it for you. you. Yeah, I got it for you. Good. Sit yeah, down. We'll close, close it. Close, 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 close. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna close this one so Friday. All right. I close this one because I can't tell if someone comes in and out. Well, have a have a good meeting. You too. Enjoy. You want me to close? Thank you. You got it. Have a nice day. You too. It's very nice. Very nice guy. You know, tenders, you just walk by and ask him if he'd like it open. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like us to open it for you? <laughs> I think that should be your opener. Yeah, let's go on. It's the weirdest place in America. Is that what we do? That's what I've read in an article. Well, maybe you shouldn't assume, because assuming makes an ass out of you, which it definitely did. Because we were nice, and we just walk around, enjoy the spaces, and have good conversations like we did upstairs, because we didn't assume that just because I've met city employees that put their hands on me and act badly, I don't assume that all are. But again, that's me being bigger than the government. Close your mouth, get back to work, beat it. Oh. You're trash. I'm you make your city look bad, go. I missed something. What was it that you said? Can you repeat it? We go around trying to make people react badly. Beat it. Go. See you never. Go around trying to make people react badly? That's what she said. That pisses me off. I apologize for that, young lady. I don't like when people make assumptions of me when they haven't met me before. There was a nice man upstairs. What, what's your name? Uh, Kate. Kate. Um, so what she did is she was assuming, and when you assume, you make an ass out of two people, right? Um, I don't, but she, she read stuff online and without even meeting us or talking to us or even seeing us physically in person, 
she decided what it is that we do and how we act. But when we came in here, we were nice to everyone. Even though I've had government officials tase me, mace me, grab me, try and have me arrested, call the police on me. I don't assume everyone is bad. So that is, again, the people being bigger than the government. Um, but now we're just going to need to work on on making her look as stupid as possible. What's her name? I can I can find it right. Yeah, but there's multiple cards, so if that's could... everybody who works in the South. Well, is she is she Richard? Because she sure was a dick. She's not Richard. Okay. Uh, no, and these days she probably could be, right? She's Sarah. Yep, orange card. Thank okay, you. she's. Sarah. I mean, that would have been nice for you to provide beforehand. Look, it's good and good in, good interactions, and then it takes one one piece of trash like her. Well, it's interesting because she said precedent for her right there because if we had just come up here and asked for their names before she had said anything she probably would have given it and actually provided a service for the people instead she had to make us do a whole bunch of leg work that didn't need to happen because now she assumes something because she assumes something. yeah i think that zoom meeting is going to be on hold because i'm pissed now that's some nice new signs where's sarah culgan Let's go find out about Sarah Culligan. Let's go do some records requests. Let's see if Sarah should still be gainfully employed. That was absolutely horrible. You know, the people upstairs did a great job at representing their town. There's a reason why they put these ones down at the bottom. He's going to want to quit that Zoom meeting. I promise you that. Hey ladies, just a quick question. When we came up, because I'm just like really confused. When we came up, were we mean to you folks? Yeah. Were we harassing you? No. Nope. Were we intimidating you? Did it seem like we were trying to spark a negative reaction? Did it seem like yeah. we were poking like you to get you to one. flip out? Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's, it's so strange because we went downstairs and we went to be as nice to them as we were to you and the town manager. And we met Sarah Culgan. And we walked in on Sarah explaining to Sarah. the other young lady that was downstairs that we're here to harass, that, that, sh that the other woman should ignore us because we're here to harass, get a negative reaction, and treat them terribly. Okay. So, so I just, I just, I just chewed her out. I'm sorry you got that comment. I, no, this is a public building. You're allowed to do this. But, it's just unfortunate that. because we had somebody message us saying, hey, you should come to this town hall. My town's amazing. And yeah. You need to spotlight them. I, that's we why I'm sorry that you got that. Well, you know what it is? It's like, you know, I, I was trying to explain it to um, Sarah before she ran what she should have because I said, have you ever met me before? She goes, well, this is what I read online. I said, well, assuming makes an ass out of two people and it's not, it's not us. So... She read something online, and she made a decision without even meeting us in person who we are and what we stand for. However, I've met public officials that have tased me, had me mace, called the police on me, had me arrested, called me names, and I still came in here and was nice to every single person. So are we in a pretty bad position when someone off the street is now having more respect and being a bigger person than the government? I think that was crazy. And I truly apologize um, you don't have to apologize. You're very, you're very, very yeah. nice. I'm not mad at you. I'm not going to bring you guys a smoke. I'm still a nice guy. I, I'm, so, you know. It, I would again, like. It's. I would like. So what I'm going to do with Sarah though is I'm going to do a records request for her um, name, dates of employment, salary, uh, and then I'm going to file a formal complaint with the select board. And what I would like to do because it, it's an ignorance thing, right? And and I've made this offer before. I'm, I think, two out of three right now. Um, I'll take an apology from Sarah, or I'll take her job today. So, I can give you, I have a, a request form um, that I'd appreciate, and then I'll give you my email. Sure. Right, yeah, that's I mean, but if she would like to, before we leave, apologize, I will not move forward. But just so she knows, I'm the wrong guy to do this with. I have 40 million worldwide views, I have 130,000 subscribers, uh, and I've offered this four times. 
And not one, not one time, I don't think I haven't taken someone's job yet. So I will take an apology from her, or I will take her job from her. Okay. Let me print this out, and then just give me a moment. And by the way, you're very nice. I'm sorry. I was telling him, you're I was so like, lovely. there is a reason why you ladies are put upstairs. And, so and they're is. downstairs. Yeah. And then we went downstairs. I and used it to wasn't be downstairs. Well, well they moved was. you up for a reason. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is then that because of Sarah, she, she painted a picture of us. And the woman that was working downstairs, I don't know who she was because she wouldn't provide her name. But then because she painted a picture of who we were, the other lady didn't want to provide any services either. That doesn't bridge any gaps. Like if she gives well, us. Well, I don't know who you are or what website you're with, but you still get treated the same way as anybody else. Exactly. That's that's the whole point. That's why you ladies do a, such a phenomenal job. Like the only thing I hate to say is I don't like to be. <laughs> I don't either. Why don't I? So, so <laughs> because so, uh, I'm not the best. Let me. Sh- no, you are. You're beautiful. So let, let me show I'm you. Do this and thank just you. give me a moment. <laughs> And I'll be right back. Let me show you how this works. You say that. Uh, Now I know that you don't like to be filmed. So then I could take the camera and zoom in your face and be real jerk. But we're not here for that. We We just want to... We just want to flex you our know, rights. You go and to the motor vehicle place and they oh, take your picture I'm, I'm close not, up. I'm not from yeah. this town, but I have a friend who is, and he was like, "You need to come and spot." Yeah, he said that you, they're going to they're going to pass the flying colors. That's yeah. exactly what they said. And and, and we thought for the most did. part, and for for <laughs> actually for everyone except downstairs, we were actually surprised. I actually said at four minutes have in, you I said, been "This is going to be not real." Yet. Yeah, I haven't got there yet. Okay. We had Karen <laughs> downstairs. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, no, I mean Sarah. Sarah, and then I don't know who the other one was. I always confuse, like, if every time someone asks, like, Now, that. that's what I was going to say, is, you know, sometimes I'm live for these things, and, and when, a, when a woman says, or a man, I don't look great on camera, oh. it's not a greatest day, whatever, oh. I'm telling you, those are the ones that I usually just, have the I get nervous. smile. Oh. Okay, man, so... Geez. All right. No, I'll move it this way. Oh, uh, thank you so comments. much. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have to point it at you right now. But you're going to get a lot of positive comments because you are beautiful. <laughs> you're being too nice. I'm not. Well, thank you. All right. Lynn, I will be right back. I got to go upstairs, let Jan know that she can use that veggie platter that I left up there. I told her she could share it with the seniors. Such nice people. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Well, we can, try. Because you know, we get yelled at every every. Well, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. But you've got you've got you know people who live in the town that are frustrated with either the system or how things flow or maybe like you well, know for whatever reason they fell through the cracks and who knows why. But there are always there's always somebody who you, you can't please them no yeah, matter what you, you do. Know, they usually say the worst department is the assessor's department. No. Oh. When I started here back in 2001... Is that why they're closed? Well, no. They don't <laughs> come in until 12.30. Okay. They have 12.30 to 4. Okay. So, but they used to be a full-time office. Now it's an outside agency that monitors that office. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you ever heard of them? RRG system? They yeah. They a lot of towns. Yeah, they, they, they outsource a lot. It's a hard lot. position to fill. Do you, well, that's what I was going to ask you. Is it because of budget or is it because of... No, uh, it's, it's the field. It's, it's absolutely the field. Yeah, so that's that, interesting. there's not enough specialists who are able right, to do that. Right, because of the thing. requirements to be an assessor, you have to go through a lot of training with the DOR right. and take courses. I would imagine, huh? Yeah. And then you'd have to be certified and everything. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. And then the money, like, not for nothing... My mother worked in the public sector for years, and she was a teacher. Uh, she started teaching in the late seventies, so you know, the, before like teachers made a lot, a lot of money. And for all the work that you're doing and all the time you're putting in, you're not getting a lot of money back. It's right. the pay is very, very it's sub. Low and we're trying to get it changed, right? You know, I mean, depending yeah. depending on where you work. I mean, like McDonald's. Right. You could, I mean, McDonald's could essentially make more more money. Yeah, there's a sign on Target. It says hiring seventeen bucks. I got a records request for a full time clerk the other day for twenty three dollars. You know what I mean? And she's and she's been there since two thousand seven. Right, not that far off. But you also get what you pay for. She wasn't very nice or very good.
Sarah is gone. Um, okay. I will put this in. Do I have your email? Okay. Yes. All right. Um, I will put this in. I will also talk to our TA. And yeah, he's in a Zoom meeting right now. He right? is. Yeah. Um, we knew that. So... I he, like we to, saw him yeah. going on a meeting, and then we I, said very nicely, "Have a great meeting." Sorry, we just came to say hi, very nice and meeting. we left. Okay. Yeah. And um, again, let me get back to you on this. I mean, I'll, I'll obviously it's a public request. I will respond to it. Okay. But let me talk to him. Let me talk to Sarah. She's not in the building because she already left for an inspection. Yeah. So, so I can't we'll resolve wait, it right we'll now. Wait. Um, Kanye, you, I know you're, you're you're doing everything to try and make your town look good, and I can see right now you're like, oh, what am I gonna do? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's gotta be nerve wracking, honestly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're reasonable people. What I will do is today, um, Sarah's off the rest of the day. Or well, she just she's left out right in and out on inspection. Okay. Okay. So, so it, it's so pretty we early. Wait tomorrow, maybe? we'll wait. I'll wait until the start of business tomorrow. Um, to hear back, and if I if we don't, and she doesn't apologize, then I'll explain that you tried your best, and then I'll start coming to all the town town meetings, and I'll ask my subscribers to help me out, and we'll we'll see if we can get her gone. Uh, and if she does, then that will be reflected in this video as well, and you will see that nothing gets edited, so everyone will see that ninety percent of this interaction was wonderful. I think it's important to post that stuff, you know. Okay. And again, I'm sorry. Um, it's not your but fault. If, oh, give right. me till tomorrow because no Can one's. I get your name? I, my name's Heather. Thank you, Heather. Okay. Heather, you are an app. You, you, you both. Lynn, is it Lynn? No, the, uh, this is Donna. Donna. Hi. Yes. Hi. An absolute credit to your community and, and the town of Ashburnham is, is lucky to have you both. You know, Thank it you. took me five years to turn over that uh, attitude from <laughs> the people who came to town hall. Listen, I do this for a living, and I, I'm literally almost assaulted like every day by yeah. people that see this, or and assaulted. and it's <laughs> it's really ridiculous. And we never change like the way that the reason we are so professional, and we don't do the hiding behind things and covering our face and like, ye like yelling like is because if something does happen that's negative, there's no excuse. It's not because we're poking to get a reaction because I could poke you to get you a react a reaction out of you right <laughs> now. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm good at but. It's just, it's, it's organic. It is what it is. Yeah. So. I mean, I've worked in customer, customer service my whole life. And, you know, never once, like, I would lose my job if I acted the way Sarah did. You know what I mean? The same res respect should go for the citizens as, as it would in just, like, in Walmart or something like that. You know what I mean? You were, you're employed by the people. Yes. Um, you, want me to, you want me to show you? Hey, um. I, mean, I can show you. I don't. No one wants to be like, I walk in here and like, it's just like, imagine like if, and I'm sure some people have it. Imagine if like the last woman in the hook set uh, or it was in New Hampshire, it wasn't hook set, but the lady just sees me, runs up to me and grabs me and tries to push me out of the office. Imagine if because of that, I just assumed that you were going to do the same thing. So I came in here. You're super nice. You're sitting at your desk. You're doing a lot of work for the people. You work hard for a very little bit of money because you believe in your community. And I just come in here and start screaming at you and treating you like trash. You're someone's mother. You're someone's sister. You deserved every little bit of respect mm -hmm. from this community until you show them otherwise and that's the same way and I know it's probably kind of jarring when we come in because you don't know if that's how we're going to treat you we might not give you the respect that you are that you are owed and dude but that's the whole point of why what she said made me so angry because I give people that respect and I've been arrested three different times for doing what I'm doing right now and I still give that respect. Well, he's been assaulted, which is crazy. For her they don't to, put their hands on yeah, her. They for just her to not afford to that same respect to us like, how are we ever going to solve problems? How are we ever going to bridge gaps? How are we ever going to commit to change? It's just, it's sad because we take this really seriously. And that's why I got so upset at her. And the town is lucky to have folks like you working behind this desk. They're lucky. Thank and Donna. And thank you for giving me a day because we yeah. will get back to you. We Absolutely. understand you have a job to do. We understand that even though, uh, I can't even remember, Sarah, I don't even remember her name because I honestly like I don't like her that much that it, I'm not going to remember, right? But Sarah Colgan. We'll even give her time because we know she's got a job to do too. She, I mean, she was horrible to us, but she also has, you know, a job. But if we'll give it the day, okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. It was an absolute pleasure have, to meet. Have, and just so you know, my day. name's Josh. Okay. Pleasure yeah, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys should let uh let them know that they're doing a great job in the town. Yeah,
town clerk, tax collector, and treasurer's office. Wonderful, wonderful people. And you know what I like about their displays and their decorations? It's not like over the top where, you know, they spent hours and hours at the taxpayers and they spent time doing that and stuff. It's yeah. simple, it's beautiful, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Alright guys, I already I always quiz you what's the symbol of the pineapple. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I just want to get a picture over here and do your thing. Thanks for your service. How are you? Just wanted to come take a picture of this. So nice. It's great to see like folks working on it. I can't tell you how many times I walk into city halls or we go separately to the senior center, and there's nothing in there. People in the aren't. People don't. Well, there's they stuff in there, but, but they, but they put no work into it. It's just like they have the tax money allocated. There it is, like, and they they have the tax money, but you don't exactly. Oh it's very very nice. I love it. So every little holiday, they come and decorate. All our little volunteers. That's so nice. Let's try to make it as nice as we can. The volunteers, it, is it just anybody who chooses to volunteer? Or is it yeah. some specific, like, place? Anybody, but come? most of them are the seniors. They come here for their line dancing. Or oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's, that is really cute. Yeah, and they come and they see it and go, hmm. A lot of them are, this used to be their school. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so they get to come back and... This what? was a little bored of them, and they wanted to look Right. Yeah, memories. Look at that. We got Ben Franklin, Abe Lincoln, and I think it's George Washington on the left. Very cool. Well, that's just the kitchen. I mean, I'm not, but I'll help. I mean, you can just, like, direct me to what you want, and I'll go do it. Like, the, the reverb in this place is the worst. I'm yeah. I'm great at decor, but I do have a crowd. Hi, how are you? I'll crochet it. Like that. All right. I'm a, yeah, she can, I'm she can crochet, like, oof. We have oof. some free uh, yarn here if anybody's interested. Yeah. Oh, it's very sweet. I will leave that for somebody oh. else. She, she crocheted me a big blanket of the American flag with the stars, with the stripes. Wow. She's stitching it in separately, the We the People. She, she is, and I say it, God rest her soul, my grandmother, yeah. I thought was the best, you know, because we, we, we used to call them Afghans, right? Like yeah. the blankets. Yeah. And then I saw hers, I was like, oh, grand. I try to keep my thoughts to myself, so my grandmother didn't hear what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, hers are much, hers are better. Not by much. Oh. My, uh, I'm them. Okay. Thank you so much. And thanks for what you did. My name's Josh. Hi, Josh. Nice yeah. to meet you, Jan. Nice to meet you. What is it, Rita? Rita, yeah. Nice to meet yeah. you. Well, thanks yeah. for... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thanks for everything you do for the community. Absolutely, absolutely yeah. wonderful. Great stuff. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care. The chaos coordinator. Yes. Oh, my God, I love that. Done. Done, done. Did, you, did you serve in the military? No. Did you serve? He did. Yeah. I was going to say, I saw this shirt. Thank you for your service. No, back when I Appreciate was in, you spit on us once. What's that? Yeah, that's what he was telling me. They used to spit on us. They wouldn't say thank they you for your service. They used oh, to Vietnam. Yeah. 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 Only one time, though. Vietnam. That's horrible. Yeah, well, they wouldn't wait to do it twice. Well, do you get thanked a lot now? Oh, yeah. I sure hope so. Good. Yeah. Well, just so you know, a grateful nation thanks you for your commitment to this country's freedom. Yes. And you know what's amazing? So. He got spit on, and he didn't quit. Well, that's a sign of that's that's a sign of a, of a real hero, right? Like the guys that you know, some well, people the guy like to spit on me. He didn't spit the second time because they had to take him away. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had right. a, somebody right. somebody told me a story. It was a vet, and he said um, he wants. So he gets off the bus, and he sees what the treatment of the Vietnam vets. So while he's on the bus, he takes his uniform and he, he crumples it up. He sneaks off the bus. He throws it. He's walking down the street in boxes, and he. He goes home, and then he decides to join the National Guard 20 years later because he was in so much guilt for what he did, and then he was talking to his therapist, and his therapist is one of the people that went and did that, that not maybe to him, and they, they had such a great conversation and you know, over years became very, very close friends, but 
you know, I can't ever see, no matter what someone's telling me, that, you know, I, I couldn't treat another person like that to serve this country, right? Like, regardless of what your beliefs are, people say it in my channel all the time, like, oh, you know, they're fighting for a corporation. Like, regardless of what the fight is, let's say we don't understand, they are sacrificing their time, their families, they're giving the, sometimes the last, me the last measure of devotion to our, what they believe is our way of freedom. There is no bigger and better and braver sacrifice. And every time I see a vet, literally every time well, I thank them. It wasn't a war until I was out of the military seven years later, I came to war. Yeah. 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 It was a police conflict. Right. <laughs> police action. Right. Yeah. Like Dick just says it's a special operation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a police conflict. They're still having a police conflict. The yeah. Inspector <laughs> used to be here. The building inspector before he retired. He was in the Marine Corps. He was in a ghost car. He was in Vietnam in 1963. Yeah. Ooh. And when he got out of the military, he burned his uniform. Not Marine. Not too many Marines do it, but in 1963, yeah. there was probably 20,000 Marines that burned their uniform. Right. Because they were told, go in there, kill them. And forget about it. Right. You know, it's, we it's, not supposed to be there. We weren't supposed to be there. Right. <laughs> well, you know, you, you, you are a hero, man, and and you should. I, I tell you what, I'm not a hero. You're a hero. Like to be honest with you, like the, the tats that I have, like they they cover me head to toe. Is literally every day. So I wake up, I can look at myself, and I don't forget. If you sacrifice. were in the military and you got a tattoo on your Oh, I wasn't back. in the military. Well, if you were, yeah. and you went out one weekend, you'd be in jail. Oh, see, now everyone does it. I, people always ask <laughs> me, like, everyone does it, people yeah. always think you I'm in the military. I say, no, I just love my country. Military. But you couldn't get the tattoo Wallet. to where somebody could see it. Right, right. Right, because it's destruction of government property. <laughs> that is oh. true, yeah, that's great. Damn. It's so <laughs> trivia. Because really my friend got that. one. That said, certified USA grade grade beef number one on the cheek of his ass. <laughs> Someone put him on report. Oh. I, well, he thought he was going to get in trouble. I said, no. You get that person in trouble. Said that he was peeping Tom through the showers. Looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Because else, how would he know? And so when he goes in front of the big captain, they says, "Well, where's your tattoo?" He goes, "Where no one can ever see it, except for maybe my girlfriend." Where is it? It's on the cheek of my ass. Now, why is that guy staring at me in the showers? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, always a pleasure to meet you. He didn't get in trouble. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course he wouldn't. He shouldn't. Love that. <laughs> the chaos coordinator. She's really the chaos coordinator. Are you the one doing it? You're responsible it. for it? I am. <laughs> it's always. Like... No, no, no. Oh, you don't? We're just no, visiting. I'm from, I'm from oh, yeah, we're from 20, 30 miles away. Thank you very much for your service Thank again. You. Thank you for your sunny disposition. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great day. You too. Thanks, Rita. Take Thanks care. Are When, you know, you're low on stuff. She was trying to rush us out, wasn't she? I don't think so. Think so. Sarah Colgan. Uh, flag day is tomorrow. Is it flag day tomorrow, right? Flag day. Dispose of your flags properly. It's flag day tomorrow. Not a federal holiday, which is really ridiculous, I think. I'm going to turn around on what day it is right now. I'm going to be honest. I've been a little overwhelmed. All right, folks. Ashburnham Town Hall. Um, if she doesn't reach out and apologize, this video I might release before she reaches out and apologizes or she doesn't, so we'll let you know. That's Banana Rana. Make sure you check her out. We'll catch you on the next one. And that's the reason I stopped you today.